Great. Well, today it starts the first of my state of the real state of the nation tour. I'll be visiting all nine provinces in the country to assess the real state of the nation on the ground ahead of the SONA. So that when we prepare the response to the President's State of the Nation address, we'll be able to share some home truths and hard realities of how hard life has actually got for far too many South Africans uh, under this current uh, government regime. What we need to see and what we need to be able to show uh, is workable alternatives to the failing crisis. This is one of them. We've already heard uh, two hospitals nearby suffering massively with overcrowding. That overcrowding has a causal knock-on effect in that it causes deaths. Overcrowding is intrinsically linked to hospital deaths. Here on the doorstep between these two overcrowded hospitals lies this facility, which today is a seven-story monument to the folly of a nationalized health insurance system and the nationalization of the health system as the government sees it. It is very, very clear that this government does not have the capacity to manage healthcare currently. It is therefore completely inconceivable how they see the NHI as being able to address the health concerns of this particular country. We have on the table a workable alternative, which the Biwe Guarube, our shadow minister, will be talking to a little bit later, called the Sazani Healthcare uh, uh, Project, which will give access to quality, affordable healthcare to all South Africans without destroying the private healthcare system in the process and without continuing down the road of the failed type of projects that we've seen behind here. This is an easy thing for government to fix. The hospital facilities remain here. Uh, there is good infrastructure. There is huge economic potential in large parts of this particular piece of property. And yet, for the last two decades, it's almost lain completely empty, unused, and not in the service of the people of the Republic of South Africa. We also know that the NHI is going to open up the door for even more looting and corruption in the healthcare sector. The sector we already know is completely riddled with corruption and maladministration. Now, I think what should terrify all South Africans is a comment just two weeks ago by the National Minister of Health, Dr. William Kize, that he envisages that this NHI will be run along the lines of the Road Accident Fund. Now, anybody who's had any dealings with or is familiar with the bankrupt, corrupt nature of the Road Accident Fund should terrify them. South Africans need access to quality, affordable health care. The current trajectory the government is putting us on with NHI is not one of them. And no doubt, much like the Road Accident Fund and so many other state-owned entities that cannot keep the lights on, that cannot keep planes in the air, NHI is destined to let South Africans down and leave the most vulnerable in our society at great risk of further harm and further lack of opportunity and lock them even further away from the economy where they'd be able to improve their lives. So our alternatives are going to focus very much on lifting people out of poverty and into opportunity and giving patients across the country choice to be able to do what they need to do and to access the services they need without the big clunking fist of state resulting in failed projects as we see behind us here. We will also eliminate false and ridiculous appointments made, and Sevier is going to talk about the latest appointment made by Dr. William Kize, an appointment of his niece, uh, into uh, his department, despite the fact that she's facing several charges of, of uh, corruption and maladministration. So I'm looking forward to this tour. Later this afternoon, I'll be visiting an industrial site to have been affected by the load shedding crisis, another state and entity unable to meet the challenge of the, what South Africans require. Thereafter, I'll be doing some door-to-door -door in Timbisa, in a hostel, to understand from residents in that particular area the challenges around failing service delivery that is affecting their ability to improve their lives. And I'll be visiting all nine provinces. I look forward to doing that and then confronting the president and his cabinet with the real state of the nation on the ground here in South Africa. Thank you.